Woo, it's 6 a.m. and I'll be honest, I did not want to be up this morning, okay? Uh, it took me a while to roll out of bed, um, but I'm up. I have commitments, I have goals, I have dreams. Okay, the bed was warm, um, but my goals are better, right? Like, I really want that bad, but I really want my goals more. So, I made sure I woke up and did the things that I needed to do this morning. Got my prayer, got my Bible study, um, and had some questions past couple days about food, about breakfast, about carbohydrates, um, about what to eat, when to eat, how to eat. And so I wanted to address those today. I'm excited to be able to address those for you, give you a little bit of knowledge. As always, if you want to deep dive into all this information, you can always follow me on my group where I actually go deep into this. Um, the link's down below, or you can check out my blog. Okay, so number one, um, do you eat before you exercise? Yes, eat before you go work out. 30 minutes to an hour is how long it takes for food to get into your metabolic system to start giving you energy, to start processing, to start digesting. You have to eat before you go work out. Food is fuel. Without the fuel, your body can't perform the way it needs to perform, right? Like working out is probably the most physically strenuous thing you're going to do all day long and you're trying to make your body do it without fuel, that's stupid. That's like going to race a drag race car, a dragster, right? And not put any gas in it beforehand. Like, no, it's not gonna perform. Like, duh, it's fucking stupid. Stop trying to do it, okay? And in fact, what science tells us, okay, is if you try to go work out and your metabolism's off, you haven't worked out, your blood sugar's gonna tank, your body's gonna actually start going into a catabolic state, which is um, where it burns muscle mass, okay? So your body's actually gonna eat its own muscle, right? So if you're working your upper body that day, it's gonna eat your lower body. If you're working your lower body that day, it's gonna eat your upper body. And yes, you're gonna lose weight during this time frame, but it's gonna be muscle weight, right? It's not gonna be fat weight. You're gonna still be fat. You're just gonna have less muscle on your body. So you're not gonna look as fat, okay? So eat before you work out so your body doesn't go into this state because this state is what causes most people to lose a whole bunch of weight really quickly, you lose 30 pounds in 30 days or whatever bullshit you're trying to do, right? So you lose 30 pounds in 30 days and then you have a cheeseburger and you gain five pounds back because your metabolism's so messed up and so slow because you screwed it up by not eating before you worked out and now your body can't handle normal food and normal systems, right? So eat before you fucking work out. It's that that simple okay now what to eat before you work out pretty important okay um, fuel energy right you want energy okay that's the whole name of the game before you go work out so what I do boom one scoop of um, like one cup of dry oats in a bowl put half a cup of blueberries in it and cinnamon okay there's a reason I do this, okay? It's carbohydrates. I love carbohydrates. They're not the enemy. They're a good thing, okay? They are a good thing. I used to like do the whole low-carb, keto, um, hate carbohydrates thing until I was educated. So this is why I'm here is to educate you because this is when I really started seeing results. I didn't see results the way I wanted to see results when I was on low carb and keto and all that bull crap, okay? When I started to see the real results that I wanted to see is when I understood my body and what I needed to do for me to see results. And that's now what I do for other people, right? Um, but carbohydrates are awesome. They're actually energy for your system. They're actually fuel for your system, okay? Um, they carbohydrate your muscles, okay? So if you want a blood pump, if you want your muscles to perform the way they're supposed to perform, lift more weights, move faster, perform better, all the things we're trying to do in a workout to burn more fat, right? Um, you need carbohydrates. 
if you want your hormone production to be on point, if you want your metabolic system to be on point, if you want your muscle growth to be on point, if you want to burn more fat, carbohydrates are the way to go, all right? Um, if you're like me and you're slightly insulin sensitive, right, and you don't process carbohydrates very well, there's certain sources of carbohydrates you want, certain sources of carbohydrates you want to stay away from. Long story short, don't eat processed crap eat real crap, right? Don't, don't eat the processed stuff, eat like real food, okay? Um, and then eat your carbohydrates at the right time, right? Like I just told you, eat them before your workout, right? Like, if you listen, I'm telling you exactly what to do. I'm not hiding anything from you, okay? Um, so make sure you do that stuff. Make sure you go out and crush your goals today. If you guys have any questions on this stuff, like I'm always open to answer. I'm open to be here. I'm open to talk to you guys. Um, like I said, my, my group down below, my men's group, that's where I dive really, really deep into a lot of this crap, guys. So follow that. Um, if, if you just want to know more about the science -y type stuff, follow my blog. Okay. Um, and day number six of the 90-day challenge um, day number six, loving it, feeling great, feeling amazing, about to go um, hit a back and bicep day. So we're going to go crush that. Um, so we'll talk to you later. See you guys. Adios.